Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing day 39 of 100 Days of Less Hustle, More Jesus, a devotional journal by Shannon Noel. And let me just give a quick update. I'm up to day 89. Um, yesterday was day 88. So today is October 9th. Yes, and day 89. So I've been doing a devotional, thank God. And um, a couple of times, um, I didn't do it back to back. Um, one time when I was traveling, another time traveling again, and then trying to get some things regulated. And at one point, I was battling in my body, but I just did catch up, even if it was like two days or three days. But for the most part, um, you know, I was able to like catch up if I fell two days behind. Um, those few times, couple, I think it was like what three times, and um, yeah, but um, I what I did is I'll date it, like for example, when is it? Yeah, okay, so October 6th, I didn't do it, I put the date, but then I put the 7th, so I made a reference that on October 6th, I did it on the 7th, yeah, so. <clears throat> I thank God that this is really a really good devotional journal. I tr I am truly enjoying it, and um, I've enjoyed it so far. So I'm grateful for that. So day thirty nine. Um, before I say that, let me just say this video coincides a lot with, um, well, this title today coincides a lot with what's been going on. Um, with me in terms of um, video recording I've been having to say no to making videos um, as much as I would like to in this season um, you know hold on let me show sure my friend yeah and um, yeah sometimes it's yes sometimes it's no so, so let me go into it and then I'll share um, some thoughts on 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 this topic when I finish. Okay, so yes and no. How do you feel about saying no? No, I don't have time. No, I'm too tired. No, I can't do that right now. Do those statements sound a little selfish to you? That tiny word no can be one of the hardest things to say because for many people, it comes with baggage. When they hear a no, they hear things like, I don't like you, or you're not worth my time. But it is vital that we allow the Lord to redeem that word for us. No can be a space-creating, life-giving word that makes way for a great big yes in his time. Don't give little bits of your day away just because you feel guilty. Give your time with freedom and purpose. When you have to say no, let your answer be filled with gentleness and grace. God will do the rest. Just keep your eyes on him. Colossians 4, 6, New International Version reads, Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may say how to answer, so that you may know, sorry, how to answer everyone. Psalm 16, 8, New International Version. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Matthew 5, 37, New International Version reads, All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. Proverbs 2, 6, New International Version reads, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes understanding, comes knowledge and understanding. Prayer. Jesus, I look to you for the courage to say no when I need to. And yes, when the time is right. Amen. So you know what? Oh, I meant to print out a couple of things. I forgot. Hold on. I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to come back. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to print something. So, there was a couple of things that I want to put on this page. But I, I think I want to write it. And then, 
well we'll see so anyway i wrote here it's okay to say no don't be afraid to say no just be gentle and gracious right so um just just sharing some some thoughts and some experiences i remember one time um this was years ago right <laughs> Um, a sister, we had went on this trip, right? Um, this church trip. And, um, this dear sister who went home to be with the Lord, I miss her so much. Anyway, um, someone asked me something and I said no. And I started explaining why. And she said to me, she said, Pastor Samantha, why, she said, why do you always feel the need to explain yourself? And... She said, you can hold on. She said, you can say no and don't have to explain yourself. She, just, she said, you don't owe people an explanation. You don't have to explain yourself. She said, I'm going to pray for you, right? And, um, well, let's say God has answered her prayers. However, I've come to learn that um, there are times that I believe an explanation is warranted. And, you know, you, as we grow in the Lord, we begin to learn who we are. And um, everybody's perception or perspective on something, um, everyone doesn't have the same perspective about things. And when she said that to me, she meant no harm. And I believe she was correct because I believe it was in balance. I believe I did need to learn that I don't have to explain myself all the time. That didn't mean that there aren't situations where I shouldn't explain. One being with children. You know, when children say, why can't I do that? And the parent says, because I said so. <laughs> Now, I think that's within reason, um, especially if the child is going back and forth with you. But as I've grown in the Lord, and I think about the scripture with all your, under, with all your getting, get understanding, I believe that sometimes children are genuinely inquiring why they can't do something or why something is wrong. And if you don't give them an answer, the world will give them an answer. And so I believe that if, the, if I discern that the child is not being rude or disrespectful, I like to explain why. Because it's a chance and an opportunity to impart and to teach them. Um, and like I said, it's discerning whether it's coming from um, some like rebellious attitude. And even in that, you can still use it as a teachable moment. And then... But there are times where the child genuinely is like, they don't think it's fair. They don't understand why. And again, I believe it's a teachable moment and an opportunity to give them some understanding, to give them wisdom, to, to, to share, you know, if it's, if it's not, um, you know, um, if it's not in school or whatever, or it's a family member or whatever, I'll share the word of God. If it's in a school context where there's separation between church and state, God still give me a biblical principle and a way to say unwisely without saying the Bible says. It's like, for example, the golden rule. People share that all over. It's, it's really biblical. It's a biblical principle. However, you see people say it all the time. Treat others the way you want to be treated. So... Now, there are times where the child will keep going back and forth with me. And then at that point, I'll say, I'm the teacher, you're the student, right? And I have to make, I have to use wisdom and I have to make a decision based on what I know is right. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, you will later understand. But for now, it's no. And, you know, sometimes you will give them explanation, but, 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 but at that point, they're just trying to get you to agree with them for them to do what they want to do. And that's a whole different story. So, yeah, I do believe that saying no is very important. And I do believe that um, saying no at times and, and, and being okay with saying no when it's no is okay. The Bible says, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Okay. Um, I believe at times it's warranted. I also believe that at times an explanation is not warranted. Sometimes when we're in 
you know, engaging adults. And sometimes we have to say no. It's Sometimes it's just no. Like, I don't want to. And no. What is the reason? I don't always have to explain why no. Um, but then there are times where I would explain in the situation of sometimes a work relationship where the person and I have to be on one accord with something. And if I'm doing something or they ask me to do something and I can't do it, I believe in many situations, an explanation is warranted because you want to be on the same page with the other person and you want them to know that you're not coming left field. That's just how I feel about it. Some people feel like, well, whatever, I don't care what people think. In the bigger scheme of things, once I've explained to you and once I've shared my heart with you and a person they just upset at that point is like I can't give any credence to that I pray that they understand I pray that they get over their disappointment but I still have to do what I need to do and that's not only the work relationship that's even you know with family friends you know different context you know um no is no and if I do offer explanation I have to do what I need to do even if the person is upset. It's at that point, I'll be like, well, you know, I can't have people, please. You know, and I, I don't like to say I don't care what people think because the bottom line is, to some degree, I do care. I don't care in a sense of I'm not going to take on the care. But I am concerned when I see a person disappointed, whatever. I pray for them because I know what it is to be disappointed. I know what it is to be told no when I really want something. So and I don't want to be dismissive with people because I don't want nobody to be dismissive with me. And again, like I said, because I am explaining myself that it's not in the sense of taking on the care on their burden and being manipulated in my emotions. It's in the sense of genuinely caring that they are disappointed disappointed and help and praying and ask God to help them get over their disappointment and to understand so that the enemy won't come in there and try to put a wedge between the person and I. Unfortunately, that happens at times because you know what? We can handle yes to our requests, but let us hear no. It's okay to feel disappointed. But I always look to see how a person will begin to treat me and how they will begin to act towards me. And I also watch myself because sometimes I could be like, what? You know what? Just forget it. You know, and then the Lord has to deal with me. He was like, first of all, where does your expectations lie? And do this person don't owe you a yes. Like, really? Like, get over yourself. They do not owe you a yes. Okay? They don't have to do anything for you. If I tell them to do something for you and they're not doing it, that's between them and me. But you need to be looking to me. And so, yeah, and so um, I like when she wrote here, but um, she said, the, she said, no can be a space creating life giving word that makes way for a great big yes. Because if we're saying yes to everything that we're not supposed to be saying yes to, we close the door of opportunities to the to the um to the to the proper yes. Right? So no, saying no can actually create space for the big yes. Case in point. I've had to been telling myself no about making a lot of videos lately. Because there's some other things that I'm doing. And also sometimes when I come from work, I'm tired. And so, it's just like, <clears throat> do would I like to make a video? Yes. But sometimes, I just have to tell myself, no. God is speaking to my heart. You know, you need to rest. You need to, to pause right now. So, it's no, you know. And then, I'm able to get some other things that I need to work on done. So, I'm learning now. Hold on one second. So I'm hoping now, like, I'm, I'm not going to be always able to make three and four videos a week or five videos a week. Sometimes it's going to be one video a week and sometimes probably no videos a week. So, and then, but I'm also getting other things done that I need to get done. Um, saying no to people, places, and things. Um, and, and to myself at times, you know. It creates space for the 
the the right yes yes and no are both important and god wants us to be able to say no and not feel guilty now i will say this this can get out of balance and then it's like no to everything and god is like you didn't even consult me on whether this is something that you want to do okay um and so we have to be mindful that we don't get so gun ho with our no. It's like, I have the right to say no. And then God is like, I didn't tell you to say no to that. Did you pray about that? Did you, or did you lean to your own understanding on whether that's something you could do or not do? Or if, whether, suppose it's me. Suppose the opportunity is coming from me. And I've said no to a lot of things and a lot of people in the past. And I didn't consult God. Because I, I lean to my own understanding. But I thank God that he's merciful and he always gives second chances, right? And sometimes some opportunities we do lose. But it doesn't mean that God, God knew what was going to happen. And so um, it's not the end of the world. We can still, you know, um, prosper and advance in him. Thank God for that. There was something else that um, I was going to say. In terms of, um, no, yeah, but anyway, I have some other notes here that I'm going to write, but I have printed out some things here. This video is going to be quite long. I haven't done a, a, a long video in a while. And I'm going to work today. It's early in the morning. And so I wanted to do this video, um, last night, yesterday. But I came home, I was tired, and um, I was like, I'm not doing this video tonight. I'll just do it tomorrow, God willing. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't, why am I cutting this out? I may not even lay this down like that. One second, y'all, hold on. But I was, oh, you know what I think I might do? Because I have some things pulled out for this, but I don't know. I can't say that I, I know 100% on how I'm going to um lay it, lay it all down. Um, hold on, let me put this in. Then I want to read those things off um, here. But I, right here I wrote, no is not a bad word. The right no makes the room for the right yes. Okay. And then right here, based on some script, the scriptures I wrote here, my talk is full of grace, seasoned with salt. I know how to answer others. My eyes are always on the Lord. He is at my right side. I am not shaken. My yes is yes and my no, no. That is all that is needed to say. And I'm going to put some corrections here. No, no. And, my, and that's all I need to say at times. Cause like I said, I don't believe sometimes. Um, I believe sometimes I, sh I, I should explain, and I'm at peace with that. Excuse me. And then I'm a teacher, so I think naturally, um, new naturally. By the supernatural, because by, by God, who he's made me, I'm going to explain. It's just, you know, it's just, it's part of who I am. This washi tape is from, um, Happy Planet. It's faith-based washi tape. I like this one right here. Amen. I think I'm going to put this up. The top, even though we took them out. No, but it's something I'm going to put that's going to... Because yes and no are both necessary. Amen. And then we have a short one up here. A shorter one. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna be saying no to work around this house today. Only thing I wanna um do though is um work through this um I have this basket um well this little what is it I don't know it's yeah, it's, a, it's a cloth basket that I had gotten from five and below and it has some books and stuff in it because I was gonna do a giveaway on those books and um, I think I, I was gonna do a giveaway 
and the person will just have to pay for the shipping and handling because you know mailing those books is gonna be kind of pricey i might just go ahead and do that let me see god willing um if i was like oh i'll you know take it to the goodwill or something but um Okay, so I did a man and men because I want to do both yes and no. Yes and no are both necessary. Um, and I think I'm going to. So this is the washi tape we see here. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, I am in frame. And let me make sure that the color is good. Um, and let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Okay, I think that's cool right there. And I do want to brighten this up a bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to do. I do want to put some flowers around. But first, I think I better lay down this label. I better be careful, little candle here. It's a pumpkin smell. Mm, yum, yum. Okay, so let me see. This pink one is nice, but I don't know if it's going to fit in that margin here. No, it's going to go over. And this pink one right here, this would fit, but I think it's going to be too small. So, oh, I really like that pink one. And let me see this one, but this one is not long enough. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the blue one, this blue, this light blue. I might end up labeled. So, these are from the Dollar Tree. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not going to work. One second. That is not going to work at all. Okay. And this. Okay. So, you know what? Um, Let's see if this will work here. I think it's too. Okay. Now, I know how to do this right here. Okay. One second. Maybe this one will work up here. Will it? Nope, if I wanted to put that washi tape, it would have, but that's all right. These are some poster, what you call these? Poster stickers from Dollar Tree. They're nice. Okay, that's not going to work what I thought, so you know, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put down what I was saying, these flowers, right? I'm going to get to that other stuff in a minute. That I wanted to um oh yeah, look at these pretty flowers. So I'm gonna put down yeah, I know I'm gonna put down some florals. I don't think I'm gonna do any drawing or anything like that on this today. I'm gonna put down this pink one here, this light pink one. Uh, let's see. I like this one. This one with the stem. Um, and the leaves. Maybe I should put that here. Yeah. And then this could go here. Um, I could find a tiny one. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, the, a leaf. I'll put a leaf there. This leaf, it looks nice there. Right here. This leaf. Oops. I need that to stick there. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. That, I think I want to put one here. I want to put that. Let me see if I can find a, a small pink one. Got these here. I want a big. Right. Okay. Um. I really wanted to. Let's see. Maybe I'll do another leaf at the bottom here. Yeah. I'm not liking that. Um, nope, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Um, I may have to go ahead and put this um little yellow one. Why 
I'm not liking that. Okay, you know. No, I don't, I'm not liking it, and I'm not going to force it. Okay. So, yeah, I say, y'all, this video is going to take a bit. It's a time to do a little chatting. Okay, we shall see what happens with that. So, um, look at these cute little things here. I don't know if I'm going to put that. Because I was thinking about these, like, prickly things, like, ouch. You know, when you say, no, ouch. That may hurt a little bit, but it's not bad. You know, sometimes you're just going to experience disappointment. But you know what? I'm going to say this. Like, I get it. I understand. Because as much as I understand that you're going to hear it, it's not to mean that it's something that we always like. You know? It's just, it just isn't, you know, and it doesn't mean that we lack maturity or whatever, you know, disappointment is, you know, it's part of life and, you know, um, it's just part of it, it is, so yes, I'm going to put this down, let's see, is this going to work, yep, yes, yes, and no so i'm gonna put yes and no is part of life yes it yes and no are both necessary but i'm not gonna put um i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna write a little something too yes If I feel like I don't have much to say or there's too long of a gap, that's when I'm going to go ahead and just put the, um, you know, put music and then come back. But yes, and, ooh, yes, and no. So I'm going to put this and symbol. Yes. And yes, and and then I'm gonna put no. <clears throat> and sometimes I know what I'm gonna use, but I don't know how I'm gonna lay it down. Sometimes I'll do the layouts before, but sometimes it don't happen like that, <laughs> and it's like and sometimes. I have this layout, and then when I start recording, it's totally different. Yes and no. Okay. I'm going to have to move my little plant over, look, my little leaf over, looks like, but make sure I don't tear it up. Don't tear, don't tear. Good. So, yes and no. I got these stickers. Hold on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Yes and no. I guess that's okay. Yes and no. I like how that is there. And then I'm going to use this blue, take note, Crayola. Let me tell you, y'all, I like these felt tip pens. Boy, oh boy, I like these Crayola. These are my favorite Crayola items. This, the, the felt tip pens, they're highlighters, erasable highlighters, and they have the regular pen, the gel ink pen. I've been using these, like, so much. Yes and no, and I'm going to put R, both, necessary. I always spell necessary. Let me write it on a piece of paper before I spell it wrong. N E C E S S A R Y. I believe that's how you spell it. Necessary. Okay, so I'll put a heart here. Right, and then. So now. And I got those. 
So I think I do need to put like another flower here. Where? Maybe right here. But see, I don't want it to look so... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But something is just not... I don't know. I don't know. Let me put this here. Okay. Um... Um... Uh, I want to use some of these, um, okay, I want to use some of these speech bubbles, so what should I do next, Lord, so let, you know what, let me read these things here, okay, um, right here, you have to learn to say no without feeling guilty, setting boundaries is healthy, you need to learn to respect and take care of yourself, so sometimes, you know, we have to say no because, you know, we have to set boundaries and we have to take care of ourselves. So we can't run ourselves into the ground. Um, you can be a good person with a kind heart and still say no. Okay, I think I know what to do now. Thank you, Lord. Um, I refuse to please others at the at my emo at the expense of my emotional well being. Even when it means saying no to people who are used to saying yes. Ooh, who are used to hearing yes, right? Okay, so I, I have an idea to, to use those. Okay, so they have some tips here. And um, I didn't get these tips from the Bible. I got them offline. So, you know, when you read stuff, you have to just hold it up to the biblical standard and see if it's, um, you know, if it's, if it's, if it's correct. You know, because they may not say the Bible says, but it still could be a biblical principle. Be clear of your vision. This is what you want to say yes to. Everything else equals no. Well, I think at times you do have to say no because you have to tend to your vision. But God may have you say yes to help somebody with their vision. And it doesn't mean that you don't have time to do the things that you um, want to do for yourself. <clears throat> but I know he's not telling us to be self-focused and everything else that doesn't involve us or it's not about us to say no to. Some Sometimes you are going to say yes to help people out with their things. The Bible says, don't look out only for your own interests, but also for the interests of others. However, that don't mean spread ourselves thin. Sometimes we can say yes to help someone with something, but sometimes we can say no. Um, I read this post, someone said, "You, that's not your assignment. That's why you're drained. And I can, I can get that. I can see how that could be, you know. But sometimes we're drained because we're tired. And, you know, even from doing what God has called us to do, we just need to rest. Okay, so number two, know the implications of saying yes. The more you say yes, the further you drift from your vision. I do believe that. I do believe that because every yes is no to something. So the same way no is yes to something, saying yes is no to something. So you can say yes to the wrong thing and you're actually saying no to the right opportunity and you can say no to the um wrong opportunity and it'll be yes to the right thing realize saying no is okay i agree use use the medium you're most comfortable with facebook i am email face to face to say no whatever works you know it's contextual i believe however you say no keep it simple you don't owe anyone explanations uh, I, I agree with that to some degree. It depends. Sometimes you should give an example, an explanation, because with all our understanding, we should get un, with all our getting, we should get understanding. And sometimes dropping a bomb no on somebody and not and leaving them all confused or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like stuff like that. So no, I do believe that because the Bible says, "Oh, no one, anyone but to love them." Sometimes that's part of the love, just coming to, like, coming to some type of an agreement or explaining something. That way, the person can have clarity and they don't leave all dumbfounded and perplexed and like, what in the world is going on? So it, that's contextual for me. Anyway, so be respectful. Respectful. Value the other party's stance. Yes. Yeah, you can be respectful. You can say no graciously and be respectful about it. It doesn't have to be in a nasty way, right? Um, provide an alternative only if you want to. So, yeah, I believe in alternatives. I believe in alternatives. I had to tell one of my students, he was like, can we play games? I was like, 
first of all, today is not fun Friday. And my job is to teach you. And you can play games at home. So what was some, some, a kid said, can we watch SpongeBob? And it's like, you know, this is... And the, t the way the teacher told me, he explained it to the student and made so much sense, right? You know, explain to the student that he's in school and you can watch SpongeBob at home. He is not supposed to be giving out computers for the children to watch SpongeBob all day. And um, the child, he said the child understood, like, you know, your parents sent you to school to learn and it's your educational right to get an education. It's your right to get an education. So, um... But what God had me doing, I had to tell the students, I was like, it's not fun Friday, PBI, it's Friday. And I said, you know, um, I, I, I'm here to teach you and you're here to learn. And I said, we're not here to play games, but we can learn through games. So sometimes we will do learning games, but you do not, you do need to know how to learn how to read and write. And a student just listened to whatever. But what God did was in the midst of my lesson, gave me a spontaneous game to go along with the reading. And it, when I tell you it was hot off the press, it was hot off the press. I was like, God, you are faithful. And the students were able to learn a lot through the game. So, um, but it was an opportunity for me to explain to the students the difference between like, um, well, not the difference, but the, the importance of, um, being in school and that they needed a balance of between, uh, amongst games, reading and writing. So eight, make yourself less accessible, provide your contact only to those important to you. So with that one, I will honestly say like, you know what? Um, how can I say, I don't know. How could I say this one, Lord? I believe in making myself available to God. And when I'm available to God, I'm available to who he wants me to be available to. Um, it's not that I'm going to, but we're not going to always be available to people. And that is very important. Now, there are times where I do believe that we do have to avail ourselves. It's our responsibility. And so some people will use something like this to shirk responsibility and I've seen that and I've done that. And God is like, no, you are supposed to be, you can't, you are available to me and I've made you available to that person and you are shirking your responsibility. So, you know, repent and get right and, and know your position. Do not use these worldly uh, statements uh, or notions in your head to like, try to shirk your responsibility. So, um, but I do believe we have to be mindful on who we provide our contact to. You can't just give everyone your contact information. Um, and that's, you know, we have to be prayerful with that. But, you know, this is, this is, this is contextual and, you know, it depends on how a person sees it. Right. Write everything down first to process your thoughts. Um, I don't always do that. Write everything down first. Um, most of the time I remember to pray about it before I go running at the seat of my pants or making some decision. Sometimes I drop the ball. I drop the ball less, but, and what's helping me to drop the ball less is because I hate when I have to go back on my word. And I've done that so many times. And, but I've noticed that it's, it's happening less and less. And I thank God for that. Um, 10, delay your response. No need to reply right away. And I do that a lot. If I'm not sure and I feel like I'm being bombarded, I'll just be like, wait, I got to wait. Um, I'll just wait. <laughs> I'll just wait because <laughs> I know me like it, like so much can be coming at you at one time. And it's like when that happens, I, I, I'm just like, I'm still I'm like, I don't know what to do. Lord, help me. I, I feel I feel pulled and then just wait. Just I just need to wait um, before I reply. Sometimes no reply is also a form of reply. Uh, well, you know what? Someone did this to me before and, um, and I knew that they knew. They knew that I said something. They knew, but they just didn't reply. And it, it wasn't, it, 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 it hurt. If it, it was rejection and it just didn't, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. So, um, I don't know. Maybe there are certain contexts that it that is necessary. Um, I guess if it's an antagonistic um, 
situation or whatever. But um this has happened and I'm telling you, I was I was steaming mad when this happened to me. And um I'm trying to think of a time if I've ever done this to someone. Um I guess you know if you get something that is not directed to you like an invite or I don't I don't know. I'm sure somewhere along cuz I could see how that could happen like maybe it's not somebody up close and personal and maybe you got some kind of invite but you didn't reply to the email. Stuff like that. I don't think the person's going to fall apart to pieces. They barely know you. Um, you know, if it's like a whole group thing or whatever or something like that. But I'm talking about if it's up close and personal, this could really, really be um hurtful. So, um, um, that's not something I want to put into practice. I'd rather reply and say yes, no, or um not right now, depending upon, you know, whatever. Um if it's yes or yes or no or no. Or if it's, I have to wait to see, then, you know. Yep, this video is long, y'all. Okay, so, um, I, I figured out what I wanted to do. Um, this one I don't want, but I'm going to use, but I want to use this one. Right here, let me see, I'm going to cut around. I can use the trimmer, but sometimes I like using the scissors. Fussy cut, and that could be fun sometimes for me. All right. Um. So. Okay. I'm going to put this one here. Good. And then I'm going to put this one here. And then put this one here. Oops, I don't know if that one is gonna fit. Okay, maybe this right here. Let's see. Oh, cause the flower. So you know what? Let me see if I can pull this flower up. I'm gonna see if I can salvage this flower. I might be able to, but I gotta take my time. I think a smaller flower will be better. Oh, yes, yes. So I'll put that there. And where's that flower pack? I think I'm gonna put this flower back. That's one thing about the happy plant plant of flower stickers and stuff they're really good stickers so you know sometimes you can just put them back yeah this one could go right back that and i'm gonna go ahead and now put this i'll put another flower but it'll probably be a smaller one so what i would like to do is this you see these sticky notes since it has to do with speech let me see if I could put one. Okay, so I'm going to have this one is down here. So I could probably put this one, this tiny one here. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. Let me see if this one is going to be too big. At least these are not like those hardcore stickers so I can... um. I think I could use this one for this one. <laughs> Put that there. And I think I'm going to have to use this one. This green one. Which one I really didn't want to use that green one. I kind of want to. Let me see this blue one. I kind of want to use this blue one. I don't know if it's going to work. Yep, it will, but you know what I'm going to have to do? 
I'm gonna have to move my flower. I'm gonna put it back though. Let me see if I can get this one up. I gotta take my time so I won't wrap. I am gonna put it down though. I'm gonna put it back down. But oh god, thank you, Lord. So this is the right here. So this will go. This one could go here. And let me see. Do I have um this pink one? You know what? I may have to change it around. This pink one. Nope. This this is not gonna be able to do that. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's see. I really like this pink one. Unless I did this. Nope, that's not going to work. All right. So, you know, see, this is the process, right? Because then I will have to do this purple one. But I don't like this, this one, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to make this work. So, this one right here. Let me go right here. And then... This one can go right here. And this, okay. Go down, right? This will be right here. Like this. Right? And this could go here, and this flower can go. Oh, I'm blocking that right there. I don't want to block the prayer. And then this will go here. Good. Okay. All right. I think that'll work. Right. And then I'm gonna put note, note. And um, I think that's gonna be it. Maybe I could find a little cutie flower to go here. But then again, this may not even be necessary. What's one of these little cute things here? That would have been a cute flower to go there. But you know what? I want to stay within. One, two, three. I'm going to see. We'll see. So, anyway, let me get some of this glue. This reposition of glue. I'm going to use this one. How much? It's not that much there, but it's enough. Okay. Hold on. Go over here. So. Yep. So no is not a bad word. No is not a bad word. It's a necessary word. Yes and no are both necessary. What do I do? Did I do that right? Why does this seem like this is more over? You know what? It don't necessarily have to be like right up on a word. So let me put these down first. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Right? And then this one here. I do want to put it on one of the slant. No, I don't. No, I don't. Put that other one over my slant. Yeah. Alrighty. I could have put a little bit of more. Let's see. On the edge there. I'm off. I'm off this one to the side. Putting down this reposition of tape. Alright. Here we go. Alrighty. And now put the sticky note. And I'm not going to force it to be, like, right on, like, come right there. It's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the repositional tape on it. Okay, that'll work right there. That's okay. That's good. And then over here. Okay, so those um speech bubbles, I got these from, where did I get these from? Oh, I got those from Michaels. Those I got from Michaels. They were in the clearance. I think I paid like a dollar and change for them. 
Yeah, so I'm liking this, right? And then I thought to, um, I refuse to please other at the expense of my well-being. I'm going to put this in my wellness journal. These two right here, I'm going to put these two in my wellness journal. Or I might give, I might, no, no. I don't, I was going to attach this here, but I don't think I want to do that. What I do want to do, though, is take one of these journal cards. I think I'll take this one. But if I journal this one, I could put something. Oh, let's see this color. God, God's ways. But this says best friends. So I'll be able to. Um, so these journal cards, is beyond these journal ones are not my favorite ones right here. So I think um, this one could face this way. So I'm gonna put something. I can, but um, yeah, for this color. And this one, I think I'll do this way. And um, I did want to use one of these. Ooh, Jesus Christ! Y'all saw that? So, trying to be all set some ambiance. <laughs> Almost burnt up my stickers. And guess what? I'm not editing it out. So somebody can have a, a nice little laugh. Okay. So um, I was going to use one of these journal stickers. But if I do that, I'm not going to use. I want to I want to kind of do it like. Let's see. Oh, that one says today's plans. So. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You know what? Oh, I could use this one. No, you know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna use this one right here. So, um, hold on. This video is long. I ain't gonna front y'all. This video is long, 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 I think I'm gonna put this. Look at these little rolls. Long, 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 long. All right. Yeah. Let me put that one there. Yeah. Let me put that one there. Okay. Yeah. I think that'll work. That'll work. That's on top of it, but I could have put it underneath and then let it be a shot out of it. It's okay. Let me see if that's looking good to me. Yes and no. I don't know what's going on with that. Why I feel so... I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to see. This thing right here needs to run. I don't know. I don't know about that flower there. You know what? I don't know. I'd rather leave it blank. I don't know. I'm just not... I hope I didn't burnish this thing down to the point where now I might have to leave it there because it's going to mess up the black paper. No, it's not. If I rip it up real fast, then I'm going to have a problem. I wonder if I go like this and let it come out a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, that's better. That's it right there. I feel better. It's just a little bit of flour. Yeah, I don't mind that. Let me see. Get this down because it's sticking. Okay, good. So, right here, and then I do want to put a little bit of more um, repositional tape there. Good. And this right here. So, I'm going to put note. Note. Okay. Note, note. And then I'm going to put a prayer here. Prayer. Father God, help me to say yes 
when it gets and no when it's no. Please help me not to feel guilty. When I have to say yes. When I have to say no. And give explanations when it is necessary. Thanks. In Jesus' name, I ask and pray. Amen. Okay. Good. I'm gonna put a little date here. When was this? This was ten. Okay, and so that's that. That, and I'm gonna use this clear washi tape. <clears throat> This clear washi tape with these hearts here to adhere um, the um, let me see what's clear over here to adhere. This journal card. I gotta do this. Gotta put that piece in there so you know I know where to pick it up again. And then now I'm gonna cut this in half. So I can use a piece on one side or a piece on the other side. So I'll put this here. Catch it. Oops. 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 Piece over here. Oop, oop. Wait a minute, it's not touched properly. Oh, I gotta put it over here. Like that. Because if not, then it's too close, and I don't like the way that it closes. All right, that's better, I think. And so, yeah, got some wiggle room, you see? Like to leave that little gap in between. That's why I like this this clear washi tape because it's transparent one because it really does help. So that's it. That's it for this page. I know this video was very long, but I enjoyed it. Sometimes it's gonna be long. I'll put a little frame around it. Sometimes it's going to be long. I don't think anything is wrong with that. And some people enjoy watching long videos. I know. I don't mind them. Only if, only if I have time. And then sometimes what I'll do. Is I'll watch it in parts. I'll come back. Watch it in parts. Um, I watch it in part. I watch one part, come back, watch another part. Depends. So yeah, so that's it. That's it for this journaling page. Um, and we have, what I do with that other oh, the how to the way how to say no. Um, I could put this in as a little card to remind me, but I think I want to put this in my health and wellness journal. This and. This other one. Yeah, I'll put that in there. Um, yeah, so that's all I'll do. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.